What's up guys, this is Merc Music, and welcome back to some more Black Ops 1 in 2023. God, it feels so good saying that. I love that this is just what's happening now. How many people we got online? 146,000? Yeah, that's definitely real. We can see how many people are actually playing just by going to find match. 12,000 though? Okay. Hey, yo, real quick, before we dive into this video, I just want to thank you guys so much for the love on all of the recent OG Call of Duty videos. If you guys do enjoy this type of stuff and you want to see some more OG Call of Duty stuff on the channel, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. One thing I completely overlooked the last time I was on Black Ops 1 was actually just going back to the file share. Not just my own file share, because there's really nothing great in there, but the actual community file share, you know, all the stuff that people share. Typically, when you're scrolling through, it doesn't actually load, but it should. Maybe if we go to highest rated, we'll actually be able to get it to work. Look at all these reduced recoil. Rate five star for the mod menu to work. That is such a lie. A lie is a lie. Assuming these clips will actually work, there's some insane stuff. That was shared on Black Ops 1. An 8 bank cam spike. We gotta see this. Yeah, we're about to relive the nostalgia, boys. There were so many insane clips that were shared. And stuff like this is exactly why we need a good theater mode in Call of Duty again. And then we're gonna track the shot. Look at what... Look at that. There goes the noob tube. It's bouncing. Sounds like a tea kettle about to explode. Look at all the bounces. How do people even find stuff like this? Off the camera spike! Off the... Wood plank hits his toe. That's insane, dude. Oh, oh, this is the perspective. Oh, they thought they were gonna kill him, and then they got absolutely legendary clip. That was the highest rated clip on all of Black Ops One, which is definitely worth it. A clip like that is easily more than a once in a lifetime clip. That'll never happen again. That gets five stars easy. Oh my God, you guys remember rating YouTube videos five stars instead of dropping likes? I hate so there was the shot. We're gonna see a cinematic angle. Look at this. We had the dolly cam back in Black Ops One, so it bounces there. Two. Three, four, five, off the spike. I mean, the spike, I feel like, is not necessarily cheating, but it's definitely helping. It's making things easier, but that is still insane. I'm sure these guys had to spend so many hours trying to figure out where they can do these bank shots in private match before actually, like, trying to hit it online. I feel so bad for these people who are on the receiving end. They just got immortalized in one of the most insanely lucky clips ever. Okay, we could be watching bank shots forever, but let's check out some other ones. We have a five-second clip titled, Ooh. Oh, I thought this was going to be like a spawn shot quad, but no. Some really weird text just popped up on screen. Why is that so highly rated? I don't get it. I'm going to give that a one. Look, it says UI show list menu Xbox Live theater lobby. Look at all that. What is this? It's ruined my game now. We got a clip called Unlimited Mortor. Can't wait to see the Unlimited Mortor strikes. Should be pretty cool. It's just this again. What? I'm restarting my game. I don't trust it anymore. Heck, girl. <laughs> I swear I forgot this one. Picture for Facebook. Who's a good boy? <laughs> this one's called Bra Face. Uh, okay. Why was that so dramatic? What was actually really fun about Black Ops 1 for custom games is that you could make the sprint speeds and the, the movement speeds insanely fast. You could make the crosshair small. There was so much more fun stuff you could do in custom games on the old COD games compared to what we have now. It's insane. You can't tweak any of this stuff on the recent COD games. It's ridiculous. I want to try to find some gun game today, though. Let's see. 259 people are playing gun game. Let's go. Don't crash it. Don't do it. It crashed. No. Okay, so maybe we still can't find gun game. I don't know what's going on with wager matches. Maybe we have to go to Weekend Gambler. I think it froze. Yep, it's crashing again. I don't know what's going on. Like, sometimes stuff works okay, and then other times it's just not. I'm not too sure if I have DLC installed on the Xbox 360, but maybe I need to delete it. There's so many people playing Search. What? We got a full Search and Destroy on Kowloon. Wait, we only need one more round. I forgot this is how old Search and Destroy was. They just played a four rounds, not like six. It's not as competitive. Especially the way I play. I'm about to noob tube him. <laughs> Dude, Kowloon is such a creepy map. I don't like it. If I use the zipline, am I gonna die? Check it out. This is some advanced warfare right here. Look at me go. Tactical reposition. <laughs> well then. How many are left? One person left? Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's over. I really don't care. I figured he was going to come from behind me, but I didn't have the patience or time and energy to like look around. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they're all hiding with ghosts and they're mad I'm noob tubing. I only played one round and I had just as many kills as their best player. King of Black Ops 1 right here. Yeah, I literally have no idea what any of these maps are. Bro, why are you but playing Black Ops 1 if you don't know what the maps are? We're going up to the top. We're going to snipe. Yo, I just realized that there's no death chat reactions in Black Ops 1. Like, that wasn't a thing yet. Imagine if at some point in Call of Duty we got prox chat for search and destroy. That would be insane. The reaction potential would just be endless. Oh, he was there. <laughs> Dude, I can barely see him. Like, everyone blends in so well on this map. Blow it up. We got a hit marker. There's someone here. 
No! I saw you, buddy. I don't think so. Hit marker Johnny. Dude, I'm so I'm camping so hard on this one, dude. I used to call this game Camper's Paradise. I mean, it still pays off to camp in this game. It's ridiculous. Don't get me wrong, I love Black Ops 1. It's just it's a different paced game. Back in the day for Oh Mark's oh. gonna get him. Yep. <laughs> ah, I knew it. <laughs> Oh, look at that boy. Boom. Gotta get, this guy gets shot. <laughs> I was just going to say that Black Ops 1 was a game that was all about power positions. Like, if you could get to the right spot, you'd be destroying people. They couldn't do anything. This is one of those spots because there's only one way up and you can look at so many different places. Freaking nuts. Ah! Hit marker Johnny, why? Uh -huh. They finally countered me. We're going to lose now. I lost it. That was a good shot. Yo, this dude's got Xbox Series X clan tag. That's actually really interesting. Since you guys are really enjoying the OG COD stuff, I've actually been playing on the Xbox 360. I know for a fact that if you play on the original console, you won't have nearly as much input lag when you're playing, but I actually just like this controller better too. The OG Xbox 360 controller is so light. I don't even have a scuff. I just have my original FPS freak on the right stick. That's it. Hit marker Johnny's the last one. He's a sniper. You out, yeah. Do it for Ubiha. Oh, trick shot him. We gotta get him. We gotta get him. No! Try to trick shot hit marker Johnny, man. I feel so bad for this guy. He's just getting hunted. <laughs> hit marker Johnny left the game. <laughs> my life is a hit marker. I swear I've. Oh, uh. yo, wow. <laughs> They're all leaving. Oh my god. Okay, I think that's enough search. Let's see what else we can find. Team Tech has 149 people. It's so random. Express only has eight. This was actually such a good game mode. They purposely put this in the game because of how slow paced it could be. We have a 30 second lobby timer, fast paced game modes, no second chance or ghost. That's like heaven on Black Ops 1, but only eight people are playing it. Two people playing Sabotage. Oh my God. That's unfortunate. Let's just try some TDM. I mean, there's over 8,000 people playing it right now. Nope. Hey, we got a game. We got driving. I swear I remember playing Infected on this map, but in Cold War. Cold War memory unlocked. Oh no, not the connection interrupted. Please. We got to kill Dave's 4002. Where are you going, buddy? The lobby died. Well, spawn shot quad. Here we come. I almost just got hit by a tomahawk. Nice. We got one. More, please. Ooh, this game feels so good, man. I love the sound of throwing a tomahawk in this game. It just sounds so cool and unique, you know? I almost had a feed. No, I was dumping on him, bro. Genuinely, the game feels so much better on the original Xbox 360. It's not even fair. You think you might have some kind of advantage if you have the Series X for the one, but that's not even true. It's so interesting because when they first made these games backwards compatible, there was a part of me that thought the games might run better on the new consoles, but that's just not even true at all. Oh my, one more. Bro, please. No, I had the collat and everything. Oh my, no, and they rage quit too. <laughs> bro, I got one too. Fight me. Uh, okay, he fought me with FAMAS. No shit, you're gonna win. There's something that just makes me so happy about actually having a good game on Black Ops 1. It's definitely not one of the easier Call of Duty games, and I was never really all that good at this game's multiplayer. I spent most of my time on Black Ops 1 just messing with people in gun game. <laughs> that was like the majority of what I did. I tried to hit clips, but I just wasn't that good. I would occasionally hit something here and there, but nothing crazy. Back then, I was not that good at Black Ops 1, and I really felt like I didn't have that much luck on the game either. I would watch other people hit insane clips and have like all these amazing opportunities for like feeds and stuff, trick shots, the bank shots, all that insane stuff I was showing you at the start. I could not do any of that kind of stuff. Also, this guy is in Dookie Clan. That's amazing. We lost that one pretty bad, but for sniping, that was a decent game. I got it that time. I'm improving. Yo, so I know this is like totally random and out of the blue, but real quick, I did want to talk about the possibility of Modern Warfare 3 being announced soon or like officially revealed. There's a pretty good chance that that's going to happen live in Warzone for Modern Warfare 2. I'm still debating about where I'd want to stream that. Like, I don't know if I'm going to do it on Twitch or YouTube. It's not something that I talk about a lot, but for years now, I've been using Final Cuts to edit the videos that I upload and share with you guys. But I've recently wanted to try out some other programs. So, you know, I've been experimenting with Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, just trying to see what else is out there. You know, maybe I can learn something new, try to educate myself on a different program, you know? Give myself a new challenge creatively, you know? A side effect of that has been pouring hours into just sitting at the computer and trying to figure out how to use a new program. And normally I'd be using that time to stream, which is why I actually haven't been streaming as much lately. But I'm kind of thinking that for like bigger events and stuff like that for Call of Duty, I might stream it on YouTube. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to getting back to streaming some more on Twitch. But if they're gonna have some kind of... Oh my goodness. Ah, what the fuck? What is he doing? WHAT IS HAPPENING?! That's one thing I don't miss about Black Ops 1. The connection, bro. I've got a 3-bar right now, and I feel like I cannot hit anyone. It's so far. Yeah, I- Okay, yeah, I think I'm done. Getting spawn trapped by tryhards 13 years later. Trying to snipe on a 3-bar? Forget it. But with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play some more Black Ops 1. If you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more throwback Call of Duty stuff, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Outcome. Trinkle.